For more videos, press the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification to receive the updates directly in your device. Hello friends, I Vikas Nehra welcome you all to our Nehra Classes YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I will show you how can you set up your own practice lab environment in your Windows PC for RHCSA 8 exam. The code of the same is EX200 and in the upcoming time, I am going to provide you the complete solution of the practical RHCSA 8 exam in a single video. So you can deploy this in your machine and you can start practicing the RHCSA 8 exam. So without wasting time, let's get started. Guys, first of all, we will install the latest version of Vagrant and we can go to this page by clicking on this link. I will provide you the link of this in the description of this video as well. So we can open it and it will redirect us to the Vagrant website and from there we can download the 64-bit version of this tool. And once the tool is downloaded, after that we will install this in our machine. So you can see that the tool is getting downloaded and I will install it once the downloading gets completed. Here it is. Now we can open it and we can start the installer. After that we can click on next. I accept the license agreement, click next and click on install. So this will install the Vagrant in our machine which will help us to deploy the virtual machines in the Oracle virtual box and it will create the complete lab environment to conduct the examination for us. So we can click on yes and we will wait till this installation gets completed. Now in the next step we will download the Oracle virtual box. So we will go to the official website of Oracle virtual box and from there we will download it for Windows. And we will also download the virtual box extension pack setup. So from the same link we can download the extension pack as well. Now we can go back to our document the Vagrant installation is about to finish once the installation gets completed after that we will start the installation of the virtual box in our machine. So we are still waiting for it. It is very easy process. It hardly takes 20 to 30 minutes and during this process active internet connection is must. Better to use the broadband because it will download a lot of data from the different websites to deploy the machines and to create the same environment for us. So you can see that the installation has been successfully completed. Now we can click on finish and here we will click on no because we don't want to restart the machine and now we will install the Oracle virtual box in our machine. So we can execute the setup file here, click on next, click on next and click on yes, click on install, then click on yes. So this will install the Oracle virtual box in our system. Oracle virtual box is mandatory because all the machines which we are going to use for the practice purpose for the exam they will be deployed here in the Oracle virtual box. We can select this checkbox and click on finish. 
so it will start the oracle virtual box and once we are in the oracle virtual box we will add the extension pack there here it is now we will go there in the preferences option in the oracle virtual box manager and there we will click on the extensions tab and here we will click on this add button and there we will select the same extension file which we have downloaded earlier and we will click on install after that we will scroll down and click on i agree click on yes and then we will click on ok so we have successfully added the extension pack of oracle virtual box as well now we can proceed further now we need to start the powershell as the admin user so we can run the powershell as the admin user and here we will execute the commands which are required to install this setup so first we are going to execute the vagrant plugin install command here which will install the vagrant plugins in our system i will provide you these commands in the description of the video so you don't need to worry about these commands and it can take few seconds so we will wait after that we will create a directory with the name as slash bin in the user home directory everything whatever we will do we will do with the help of the commands through the powershell so let's wait for some time so you can see that the vagrant plugins have been successfully installed in our system now in the next step we are going to create a directory in the user home directory by running the mk dir command after that we will go to this location where we have created the directory with the name as slash bin and after that we will open this link for github and from here we will download the code so we can click on this code button and we will click on download zip so it will download the zip file in our system now in the next step we will unzip this file so we will open it and we can copy and paste the contents of this zip file they are in the bin directory which we have just created so we will go to this location where we have created this bin directory and we can paste all the contents there now we have successfully pasted the contents now we will verify whether we can see the contents there or not yes we can see the contents by running the exit ls command there on the terminal now in the next step we will move to this directory which we have just copied so we can execute the cd command there and again we can run the ls command it will show us all the files that are there now in the next step we will execute the vagrant up command there and press enter so what this command will do this command will download the required files and it will deploy the servers there in the oracle virtual box and this process will take about 20 minutes depending on the capacity of your system as well as on the speed of your internet connection so it's better to use the broadband and once this process gets completed your lab would be ready and you can use your machines there you can see that uh, it is downloading the files for us and creating the servers let me show you 
let me take you to the oracle virtual box and there you can see that it has created one machine with the name as rhcsa8 enb master server 2 and in this server we can log in by using the username as vagrant and the password for the same is vagrant and we can switch in the account of the root user by executing the sudo su hyphen command that i will show you as well so you can have a look at this it is currently running the ansible playbook and it is configuring some files in our machines let me show you the console so this is the console of our machine that has been created with the help of the vagrant have a look at this now i'm going to log in in this machine by using the vagrant user credentials now it is asking me for the password and here also i will provide the password as vagrant and here it is i'm able to log in into this machine and if i need to use the root user account i can simply execute sudo su hyphen command here it is now it is currently deploying the another machine for us in the oracle virtual box and after some time the second machine would be visible here as well you can have a look at this our both the machines are ready and we can log in in the machines by using the vagrant user credentials and we can practice the rhcsa8 exam here it is very helpful method in deploying the rhcsa8 exam practice lab on our own pc but keep in mind that you must have at least i5 and above processor in your system and your machine should have at least 8 gb of ram for this and you should have about 100 gb of space available in your c drive and if you want to deploy it on a linux machine the processor is slightly different and if you need a tutorial on that you can ask me in the comment section i will definitely upload the tutorial on the linux as well so our practice lab is ready and i will provide you the questions as well so that you can start practicing for your certification exam here so guys that's it from my side for today's session hope you will find this session useful for you if you like it then do share it with your friends and colleagues and if you are new on our channel then please subscribe us and turn on the bell notification i will see you in the next one till then bye bye jai hind vande matram